it's the 14th of January today and we haven't cruised in quite a while because we've both been really ill and really down with flu, just coughing and spluttering. Today's not the ideal day for a cruise but we've got itchy feet, we've been here for a while and we just want to see something new. We've got four locks and two swing bridges so it shouldn't be too long, just a nice short cruise to get us back into the swing of it. coming out and we're about to go in. First lock of the year! First crank of the year. First getting caught in a rainstorm of the year. Another trepid explorer bracing the Racing the wind. It's not the nicest first cruise of the year, but I have to say it is nice to be on the move again after being in that spot for about two weeks. It feels like a little mini celebration of finally being at the other end of the Christmas flu. but I'm trying to hover to get into the lock because there's a boat on the lock landing. It's so hard when it's windy to keep the boat still. It's quarter past two now and we're really rubbish at eating when we're on a cruising day. This is the first thing we're having of the day which probably isn't very sensible given how run down we are and how windy it is. There you go. done now and we've just got a little bit further to go maybe another half an hour please don't leave on there amy just show everyone what you've put the camera on bearing in mind it's really windy it's fine that's all the locks and swing bridges done we've got another maybe like half an hour of cruising it's still windy but we're gonna make it it's been quite a, a tough cruise i'd say given that we haven't done it in a while and we're still a little bit under the weather straight back into the deep end <laughs> That's all flood from the River Avon. We've still got a little way to go and we want to moor up as soon as we've visited the boatyard where we get coal and that from. And they also do water and I don't think we've seen a water point since we set off. So we're going to get the water there and to be as efficient as possible, Amy's now inside using all our hot water up to do the pots. Always try and be productive on the move. Rufus is having a hard time. He could go inside in the warm on his bed next to the fire, but he's opted for this. We made it to the boatyard, now it's just whether it's still open. It's currently quarter to four on a Saturday. Very tired, very cold. and now time to find a mooring. It's just starting to get dark now. But I'm really glad we made it to this boatyard. It's one of our favourites. They're so nice there. We're stocked up on water and coal. It's one of the best around. We really love it here. Really good channelry, loads of different types of coal, logs, kindling, pump out, diesel, water, everything you could want. a little 
little bit dark now. So I think we're just gonna grab whatever spot comes up next. Internet seems pretty good around here as well. So hopefully we can stay here for the week now that I'm back at work. It's a pretty promising looking spot. Lots of other boaters around. Internet seems all right. Pretty good. <laughs> it's dark now and we're moored. We got here literally just in time. The spot's not completely ideal. As we suspected, no one was moored on it because there is kind of quite a bit of bedrock by the bank. We think it's okay, it's not scraping, so it'll do for tonight. Now we're just getting the fire on, but it's really nice because you just feel so accomplished after a productive cruise and it just feels good. And it was quite a challenging cruise as well, given how windy it was. We did it and now we deserve just an evening of chilling. Cozy. We've showered, the boat's nice and tidy now, and we're going to settle down with some ravioli and watch one of our favourite TV shows, The Apprentice. <sighs> Sunday morning and I think this spot's good enough for the week so there's only one thing to start a lazy Sunday morning and that is some French toast. The only problem is because we saw our bread in a drawer we sort of have weirdly cinched bread. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's wearing a corset. <laughs> Show off. For the record, most mornings we normally just have like <laughs> cereal. We're pushing the boat out today, we're treating ourselves. Breakfast done, and the sun's come out. It's a much nicer day than it was yesterday, but it does mean that we get to wander into Trowbridge, and we haven't visited a little town in a while. Some of you might also be thinking, why didn't you just check the forecast and cruise today instead? And to be honest, we probably would have liked to do that, but because I'm back at work now, we only have Saturday and Sunday every week, so it was either we stay in the same spot with no water and low coal, or we cruise and then we spend today exploring. So that's what we opted for. Made it to Trowbridge. Town Centre. For the longest time, Amy's been jealous of my wellies and steals them all the time, so she's finally <laughs> treating herself to her own pair. I've been wearing wenzes and they're so big. <laughs> and I had some of the small wellies, the ankle ones, but mud just gets everywhere, so we're going full welly. This is when you've got some serious tea. One of our ideas of fun is going to supermarkets and seeing what new vegan products are out. Especially in January, because there's loads of new ones. Everyone's closing up now, so we're going home. Wes insisted on buying loads of new products, like <laughs> tins of beans and soup. So now I've got to carry it all back for half an hour. It was supposed to just be a fun day out. <laughs> Listen, Heinz brought out a cream of tomato soup that's vegan, and I've been wanting that for years. So I couldn't say no. We're never near Sainsbury's. We're here all week. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's such a long walk. You're walking like one of those gym bros. <laughs> We're back. But well, we took the plank up, so... <laughs> This is how we have to get in. And before we settle down, the boat in front of us has moved and we're still sort of stuck a bit on the bedrock. 
which isn't ideal, so I'm just gonna walk the boat forwards a bit. We're a bit tired, but I think it's worth it. The boat jobs never end. There we go, much better. Nice and close, we don't even need the plank unless we want to avoid the mud. Nice. Thanks for joining us on our first cruise of 2023 and as always a huge thank you to our patrons and everyone who bought us a bag of chips. For even more boat time you can find us on our socials at Boat Time UK.